Popeye. Happy hearing birthday. You ready to get up? Let's go, Popeye. We have to get your cochlears on. You wanna get them? Neo! Happy hearing birthday, Popeye. Happy hearing birthday, Neo. Look! Ah. There we go, full of life. Oh. Oh. I did all this hard work for you, Neo. You did all of it for, for Neo? Yeah. Oh, what? Well, mommy didn't help? No. I did all of it. Come on, Neo. Follow the trail, Neo. Okay. Let's go, Popeye. Neil's hearing loss journey has been so incredible and so inspiring to so many people. From the very beginning, your mom and I felt so lost. We really didn't know what to expect. When the doctors confirmed that you were severe to profoundly deaf, initially we were so scared. It's a day I'll never forget. And that moment when I held you in my arms and I was given these news, I felt like I would never be enough for you. We were worried about so many things, like how your life was gonna turn out, how our family was gonna interact with you, how you were gonna have a bond with our family, because we just knew nothing. We were so clueless, basically, about the deaf community. I looked down at you and I held you, not knowing what life was going to bring or how the next couple of years would shape out. And now I look back and it wasn't so much that I was scared that you were deaf, but it was more that I worried that I had no idea what this would mean or I was caught off guard, if you could say it that way. But you were just so peaceful. <laughs> and life has an interesting way of giving you gifts. At the time, I didn't understand just how much you would change our lives for the better and what your hearing loss journey would mean, not just to our family, but to millions of people all over the world. <laughs> I do remember thinking and feeling in that moment, like my baby will never hear me tell him how much I love him. And that was hard because for one reason, I was mad that I even felt this way. And on the other hand, it just hurt because I didn't know. I remember when you first got your hearing aids, I was so hopeful, I was like praying that you were gonna be able to hear us with hearing aids. When they put your hearing aids on and they had us, you know, talk to you and see if you reacted, you just showed no reaction. You didn't look at anybody, you were just still, you know, in your own head not hearing anything which was scary to us and then you know they confirmed to us that hearing aids were not going to be strong enough for you to have good speech or hearing so then we started doing the tests for the cochlear implants finally on the day before your first birthday two days before your first birthday you got the bilateral cochlear implant surgery and it was the scariest day of our lives sending our not even one year old into 
head surgery like they are going into your head going into your skull it's really scary they were just explaining to us like how many things could go wrong and of course as parents at least for me i thought all the worst things there was just a list of things that could have gone wrong but thankfully they didn't and on march 3rd 2022 you got activated to hear the world for the first time. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that one. That's a new one. Did he recover okay from surgery? When they first activated you, I was a little bit scared and doubtful still of it was even working because like for really probably like the first six months, you barely showed reaction to anything. If I call it your name, you don't look. Something drops, you don't look. It's like you really couldn't hear anything. And then it just hit you one day that you could hear and that that sound that people are making or that the world is making. And you just started turning to us. And every time I call your name, I say Neo or I say Papush and you look at me. It is the best feeling in the world. And it just shows me how much that hard time through surgery was worth it. You're slowly and slowly, slowly but surely, able to speak more. And you're so smart. You lately have been picking up on so many words. You say mama, you say dada, you say all done, you say more, and you say them with the correct meaning. You'll look at me and you'll say dada. That makes me so happy because my biggest fear was you were never gonna be able to hear me say I love you or me call your name. When you hear us and when you don't, you know that you are loved. And today we celebrate your hearing birthday, but you've taught us how to embrace so many other things that we took for granted. You are so handsome when you smile, when you smirk, when you hear something and you're not sure what it is and you are very vocal about finding out what that sound is. <laughs> It gave us hope to see you thrive. It gives us so much courage each and every day because as humans, as your parents, it's normal for us to almost question ourselves in a way like doubt if we're doing the right thing. But every day you make it a point to show us all the things that we are doing right if we just pay attention. There's just so much things I was excited for you to hear as soon as you got your cochlear implants. I remember talking to you right after surgery and saying that one day you're gonna be able to hear the birds, you're gonna be able to hear the planes, you're gonna be able to hear your mommy's laughter, you're gonna be able to hear your crazy sister screaming. <laughs> and the reason we took you to the zoo is because there's so many sounds that we just want you to hear. We are officially at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Can you see them? Oh, Mommy, you see them again. Oh, I flew away. It makes us happy when there was a bird chirping and you're turning to it. If there's a lion roaring, you're turning to it. Elephant, you're turning to it. If I say look over there, you hear me and you turn to it. We just wanted you to experience noise, experience all the things that you're able to hear now because of your cochlears. You definitely challenged us because it has not been easy. I can honestly tell you that you make all the countless appointments, amount of time that has gone into helping you make progress. It's not only worth it, but it's so beautiful to see you just take on each and everything. And it's inspiring. Today while you're at the zoo, I just, I, I can't. The way you smile when you hear something that's quite unfamiliar. The way you look at your dad when he calls your name. The way that you tell your sister to stop if she's being too loud. In a way, I know what they say it's a hearing loss, but we've gained so much from your journey. We've been given a gift with you. Truthfully, sometimes that's how the most beautiful blessings come into our life. They're disguised as this difficult situation, something so unfamiliar. And you've shown us that the one thing that scared us the most is the one thing that made us better, better parents, not just for you, but for your sister too. Because you're so lucky to have her. She loves you so unconditionally. She knows when you've had enough sound. She knows how to get your attention when your CIs are on, when they're, when they're off. She, 
like, your sister signed your name today because <laughs> we were scared your cochlears were gonna come off while we were in the safari. <laughs> and we took them off and I said, he, Abella, your brother doesn't have his CIs on and she immediately signed your name. Signed your name. I didn't even know she knew how to sign. <laughs> <laughs> you are really doing a lot of big things. We've embraced the deaf community, something really new. We've learned a lot, but you're also teaching the hearing world a lot of different things, a lot of really cool things that I feel more people needed to know. And I want you to know that if anyone ever tells you that there's something that you can't do, you have been proving people wrong since the day you were born. And I hope that as your mom, I can continue to give you the love because you've taught me that love is not something that you have to hear or something that could be understood you give love in a very very deep and meaningful way and i've learned that from you i think that it's no coincidence that you're put on this earth for a very big purpose i think that things happen for a reason you were initially supposed to get your surgery in december and you got very very sick so we had to postpone it till two days before your birthday which made it so that your activation day and your hearing <laughs> birthday is on national hearing day world hearing day. oh on world hearing day You are going to have such a big impact on this world, on the deaf community, on the hearing community, on just, just the whole world in general. Whatever it is that you choose to do in life, you have courage, you are resilient, you're very funny, you have the most beautiful sense of humor, you're smart, and you are so loved. Babush, I just want to tell you how proud I am of you. I hope you had a great hearing birthday today. We love you so much. The whole Can family loves you too. And we can't wait to see you keep improving with your hearing, with your speech, and everything else you're gonna achieve. We love you, Bobosh. <laughs> Peace.